This clip is a great example of looking prior to proceeding even if a driver has a green. The driver blew past a red, collided with the camera, and then fled the scene. The camera and passenger weren't seriously injured. This is one of the best reasons to get a dash cam, if you don't have one already. There's no way to prove that it wasn't a rear-end collision without a dash cam, and over the years, if I learned anything, is that people lie through their teeth. I'm very impressed with how calm, cool, and collected the camera was. It was a great pit maneuver as well. Well, in all fairness, it was the SUV's idea to create a self-pit. The truck driver turned left from a lane that explicitly forbids a left turn. Unfortunately, the truck driver also fled the scene, so authorities are on the lookout for this driver. This deer literally spawned out of nowhere. Not Bambi, but a deer. I like how it takes the other guy a minute to comprehend that his friend may need some help. Luckily, he cheated death and wasn't hit at all, just the utility vehicle. These two drivers had a stalemate because they honked at each other non-stop. The game of chicken ends in a perplexing draw as they both decided to pull forward. The driver lost control, veered from the left and spun to the right just to get thrown out of his own vehicle for not wearing a seatbelt. It's a miracle he got out unscathed. It seems as though this driver had to get into Taco Bueno by any means necessary, even if it meant causing a head-on collision. I've never been, but surely they can't be that good. The truck driver crashed into the camera's tree outside. Luckily, it wasn't a collision with a person, or car, or house. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems like people love to be oblivious around big and heavy vehicles. I wonder what these impatient drivers are in such a hurry for. What baffles me is that the driver cut in illegally into the expressway toll lane and then practically stopped. What was the point of cutting in to get ahead of traffic if he was going to cut in and slow down anyways? Wow. The truck driver blatantly ran this red, but no big deal because it's only 7,000 pounds barreling through an intersection, right? I guess some people just don't deserve to drive. Speeding during rainy conditions is almost always a recipe for disaster. With that being said, it is impressive that the black car driver went all the way up the hill and kept going. This 
SUV driver absolutely couldn't miss his exit and was willing to cause a crash for it. The audacity and obliviousness is astonishing. This driver overtakes on the shoulder and then fails miserably when he attempts a brake check. I'm glad this was caught on dashcam because it shows malicious intent. Hopefully police added extra charges for the driver. Climate. We are there and ready to go. Opportunity to unionize the PRO Act. We are there and ready to go. Tax reform. These giant corporations. What was it? 55 corporations made more publicly traded, it's made more than a and so it's like you know people are I don't understand why oblivious drivers drive like they want to cause accidents that will clearly be their fault, all for the chance to save thirty seconds at most. The driver plows into the barrier unexpectedly. If I had to guess, it was either falling asleep behind the wheel or busy looking at their phone. The camera did its best to avoid a head-on collision with that oblivious driver. At least he was alert. The road conditions helped and slowed down in time. The driver seemed to be in a hurry to crash into multiple cars. I guess he was desperate to get on DDS-TV, but please never intentionally cause a crash to get on this channel.